So, so this is uh, you know under the sink cabinet. Now we recently when we you know replace our garbage you know trash bag, we found that there's some some leak here, and we try to find out what's going on. I mean, first step is also diagnosis, and we touched you know the the disposal, right? It's not wet. And we found that like somewhere here, actually here's a body here, you know, it's kind of wet. And we try to find out where the water from. So later actually, you know, so there's some leak before too. So later I found that actually, you know, the leak, I'm always in this more like a job. What a job. It's from the uh, Culligan drinking water system. So if you look at it carefully, so it's over there. So you know, see, this is the drinking water system. This line, right? It's from my basement, from my colleague and drinking water system. Same for tubing, this tubing. Same goes up to the faucet on top. So this is a water softener, and this one is a solar tank. And this is a drinking water system, Carligum. You know, we have three filtration. The first one is for the particle. The second one is called the reverse osmosis system. And the third one, I think it's called a carbon fil filter, you know, to remove some uh, odors. Uh, Oh, it removes on oh, this one particle. This one is for any like small particles. And we have another, this again, um, I think this is also the carbon fuel cheater. And here is a water tank for the excess of the drinking water. When you found, you know, the leaking is from the faucet or the tubing over there, what, what do you need to do? First is also, you know, turn off this valve first. Turn off this valve. Turn off this valve first. So make sure there's no water. Soft, softer the water go to the, you know, drinking water system. So you can like, now I open, right? You can close it. The first thing, right? Make sure there's no water go to the system. Second, okay, you can turn off the, the water tank here. That's it, right? So after I talk to local store, you know, to one technician or engineer, you know, so I talk to them, and they said to me, maybe the leak is from the tubing, you know, or the O-ring, or maybe the the faucet. Two two things. So I came back, and then, you know, this is a you know push in snap technology. You just push. You know, so one other side is then pour the tubing, right? So I look at the tubing. So this is the top, the part connect to the faucet. Look at that. The top, you know, it's not even, right? And look at the bottom too. Did you see the threads here? Threads. Yeah, right? Look at the threads here. Yes, so, right? So it looks like after a while, so we just need to change the tubing. So I cut it and make sure, you know, the top is even, not like it's original, you know, wait. So make sure the top is even. If the top is not even, so like this part, so like if the top is not even, right? Let me show you. So look at this tubing. The top is not even. So this side have more water coming here. So you have more chance the water will going leak down. Then here is worn out. I believe it's worn out. Look at the slats here, it's worn out. That's why there's a space 
explain some gap since the water leak from the faucet or from the top. So after I change the uh, cut it, you make sure it's even. So you, you just what you what you need tools. Just this is this blazer, blazer, right? Just use a blazer or blazer to cut on top even and snap in. Then we fix it. So after I turned on the water valve, right? You can see. Could you see that? There's no leak anymore and at all. We completely fix it. Right? Yes. We completely fix it. No leak now. So after I replace and um, change the tubing, right? I still can see. And now the job is all watered. So probably we need to change the faucet. The snapping O-ring is not good. So after I replace and um, change the tubing, right? I still can see. And now the job is all watered. So probably we need to change the faucet. The snapping O-ring is not good. So after last night, I checked that there's still some job on my tubing, right? I think it's time to change the whole faucet. Actually, this is a brand new one. I can teach you how to replace it. So, here is a fasten system. You know, you can't lose from the bottom part here. Right? So you have to lose from top. It's like this. You sit like this. And the other one faster from the bottom. Right? So, first you need to take the top piece out. So when you take it out, you know, same thing, you know, you know just take it from the top, un unscrew, then pull the whole thing, right? So this is a brand new one, but I just use this example, it's used as example for display. Then here you just twist a little bit, I mean anti-clockwise, right? So the whole thing I can lift up, right? That's it. So you pass, you know, plug in the blue white tubing into it. I will say, you know, first you take the blue tubing out of this hole, then plug into. Otherwise, if you plug from in the bottom, plug from bottom, right, you don't know how much you really put inside or deep enough. So later I changed. I asked my wife for help, you know. I, pu I push this the blue tubing from the bottom, then, you know, push inside on top and then you know actually it's all the way down the tube tubing right so first you need to you know fasten the, the you know the holding it's basically you know this one you can turn you know this way flip up then all the way down then flip flat again then ask someone you know to fasten it so now you know my this one, as you can see, it's fast and it's good enough. Then you put everything from bottom to top again. That's it. This is a part number. I mean, just use a very simple, you know, Cardigan, Fausto, or other brands. I suggest me just use other brands. You know, Cardigan is a very expensive brand too. It cost me this kind of faucet. It cost me like $160. Ridiculous. So this is a fasting mechanism. Do you see that? And take the whole piece out actually right so you can also put it back put it back see put it back so you can all the way down and you know you can fold it let it all go down or you can go the other way just show you. Let's see this this way. So this way all the way down. Then you flip, then you turn. Then you turn, right? You can see this it goes down underneath it. Then fasten it from top. Use a you know screwdriver. That's it. So now it was completely fixed. I turned the water on in my basement. Let's check. See, it's good. 
good now. All right, it's good. Finally, we fix it. Oh my God. So now I use the fan. Now to try the one that was 